my Blu-ray collection, part 19. Ahoy, ahoy, everybody. Welcome to part 19 of a look at my Blu-ray collection. Just all my Blu-rays, basically, apart from box sets. Uh... Let's carry straight on. Got some music to start up this one. This is Kylie X 2008. So this is from the X tour. Of course it is. <laughs> the clues are there. Uh, recorded at the O2 in London. Full concert. And it's also got a backstage 12 hours in the life of Kylie Minogue. Documentary and various other bits as well. I love Kylie and always enjoy the Blu-rays of her concerts and DVDs. Um, X, not her best album, but one that I feel is better than some people say. But yeah, good, good show. Oh, I should have done it this way. Okay, this is Night and Day. Uh, this is a lot of fun. Tom Cruise and Cameron Diaz in a action comedy type film. Uh, so they, she meets him on a flight, falls for him, turns out he's a super spy and she sort of has to tag along. But yeah, I enjoy that a lot. This is King Arthur, the director's cut. I hate these early covers. <laughs> so badly designed. Um, yeah, this is a really early Blu-ray. Uh, so this was a reimagining, if you like, from Jerry Bruckheimer of, King, of a King Arthur story uh, with Clive Owen as Arthur, Kira Knightley. Kira to me. Um, as Guinevere, Ewan Grifford as Lancelot, and there's a bit of a love triangle there. Uh, Hugh Dancy, Ray Winston, Stephen Delane, Stellan Skarsgård. It's not a great film, but it's a lot of fun. This is Killer Joe. Uh, So Emil Hirsch is a drug dealer. His mum, played by Gina Gershon, steals his stash. So he decides he's going to kill her and get her life insurance money to repay his debt. So he hires a detective, Joe Cooper, Matthew McConaughey, who's a dirty cop who also is a contract killer. And he sort of comes into their life to perform a job and he sort of you know he does it by getting as I say getting into their life basically um and he falls for Juno Temple who played Dottie Chris's um, sister younger sister and yeah it's all gutsy sexy and violent as it says there really good performances all around Really good film. This is The Killer Inside Me. Signed Casey Affleck, Jessica Alba, Kate Hudson. Another really good film. Uh, so Casey is a sheriff's deputy who's... Actually, yeah, just reminding myself. Um, who's involved... I think let me go as well. I think he's married to Jessica Alba, but having an affair with Kate Hudson. But he's a sadist. He likes beating them. Um, he starts killing. It's all very dark. But yeah, really good film. This is Leon the Pig Farmer, the Kosher edition. This is a network release. Uh, it's a Jewish comedy, basically. So, I 
Yes, it's basically, yeah, it's just a, a Jewish romantic comedy, but it's very good. Good cast. Uh, Mariam Darbo, Gina Bellman, Brian Glover, Connie Booth. Yeah, I enjoy it a lot. This is Last Night. So Kira is married to Sam Worthington. Um, Sam goes on a business trip with his new colleague, Eva Mendez. And Kira reunites with a former flame, played by Guillermo, Guillaume Canet, however you say his name. And this one night, both of them attempted to stray, and it's basically the story of that. Uh, very good. It's not a great film, but it's a it's a perfectly enjoyable watch. Good performances all around. This is the best action film of the 1980s, in my opinion. This is The Last Boy Scout, starring Bruce Willis and Damon Wayans, written by Shane Black, directed by Tony Scott. Uh, so Bruce is a cop investigating a... As an, Amer an American footballer who gets so involved in drugs that he scores a touchdown and shoots himself in the middle of a game. Um, so Bruce is investigating that, gets tied up with Damon Wayans, who's a former a disgraced quarterback because he's got a drug problem, painkillers. And um, they're trying to track down the people who... Billy Pierce, I think the name of the footballer who killed himself was. They're trying to track down, you know, sort of who was behind getting him into that state. Um, Bruce's daughter, played by Danielle Harris, um, gets tied up in it, as does Damon Wayans' girlfriend, played by Halle Berry. But it's just really funny, really good action. Great, 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 great film. Uh, you'll notice a lot of these are in a semblance of alphabetical order. This is because we're on the back half of the shelf where originally everything was in alphabetical order. Uh, this is The Last American Virgin, an Arrow release of a teen comedy. It's vaguely, I was going to say it's vaguely Porky's-esque, but... It's probably more like Fast Times at Ridgemont High, if you're going to compare it. Uh, a teen comedy about, you know, coming of age, sex. It's a really, really good film. Great performances. One of the better ones of that genre. This is The Last Action Hero. The big Schwarzenegger flop that's actually quite a good film. Um, so it's basically Arnold Schwarzenegger plays an action hero who comes through the cinema screen into real life. I mean, the write up on that, that is all the write up on there. Action adventure superstar Arnold Schwarzenegger bursts through the screen as a larger than life movie hero in this non stop adventure from acclaimed director John McTiernan, Predator Die Hard. That's all it says about the film. Um, yeah, so he comes through into real life, befriends a young boy who are trying to stop the reason he comes through is because the baddie in his films played by Charles Dance also comes through and he comes through after him to try and stop him but yeah as I say it's underrated it's really good uh, another Kylie I say another was that in this part I can't remember that. yes it was wasn't it um this is Aphrodite, Aphrodite Les Folies or Aphrodite Les Folies live in London um so, regular viewers may vaguely recall when I was showing off my CD box sets, I had a box set of this that had the DVD in. That was because they sent me the wrong thing. I'd ordered this, which is for Blu ray, which um, and they accidentally sent me the DVD version. When I got in touch with them, they said, 
we'll send this out you can keep the other one so I have both but yes this is the Aphrodite tour um, this one is in 3D this two is in 2D and this two has also got documentary on it however just reminded by seeing my note in there that the disc that says 3D is for 2D one and the disc that says 2D is a 3D one just to really confuse things it's got a little booklet in there as well but I never actually I got this before I had my 3D equipment and I never got around to watching it in 3D and now my 3D telly died and I can't get a replacement so I can't watch it in 3D this is for Look of Love, really enjoyed this film. Uh, Michael Winterbottom's story of the life of uh, Raymond, Raymond, Paul Raymond, who set up strip clubs in Soho in London and then found, I think it was Men Only magazine and various other gentlemen's special interest magazines. And this is the story of his life great cast uh Anna Friel plays his wife his lover Fiona Richmond is played by Tamsin Edgerton his daughter Debbie is played by Imogen Poots uh Chris Addison is his right hand man James Lance is in it Shirley Henderson David Walliams Matt Lucas Simon Bird Stephen Fry Dara O'Brien Kieran O'Brien Miles Jupp Matthew Beard just really strong cast really good film this is the box set of the London 2012 Olympic Games. Uh, anybody who was around at the time must have got, whether you're a big sports fan or not, must have got tied up with Olympic fever. It was just so special having the Olympics here. Really great. Um, never actually got to go to a, any of the stadiums or any of the events, but we did go up and watch the women's marathon because obviously you didn't need tickets for that you just had to find a spot and wait by the side of the road and just being there for that was really special um so this has got five discs it's got the director's cut of the opening ceremony including a commentary from Danny Boyle uh then loads of sporting highlights loads more sporting highlights the closing ceremony and loads of extras as well A nice reminder of a special time. This is London Boulevard, uh, starring Colin Farrell, Kira, and Ray Winston. It's a London gangster film. Uh, so Colin Farrell comes out of prison, meets or gets hired to protect Kira Knightley, who's a young movie star. They form a romantic bond. Uh, Anna Friel plays his sister and then he gets tied up with Ray Winston who's a gangster. It's not a great film but it's okay. Performances are good. Little Shop of Horrors, love 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 this film. This is the director's cut but it's also got the normal version as well. Uh, commentary on the director's cut alternate ending, various other extras as well. I just love, love, love Little Shop of Horrors. It's just one of the best films, full stop, ever made, I think. Okay, do one more in this one. Uh, this is The Licorice Quartet. So this is a film by Redley, Radley Metzger. I've already shown one of his films, um, Score, I think I showed, in an earlier video. I'm trying to see if I can see it to remind me. No, Camille 2000 I showed. That's it. That's why I can see score because it's Camille 2000. Um, so he was an American, I think, who made erotic thrillers of sorts. Uh, certainly erotic films, anyway. Um, this one's quite a good one. <laughs> um, so it's a rich couple and their grown-up son who and they're sort of just you know rich and bored 
they go to a stunt show and the star of which is this woman who bears a remarkable resemblance to the woman in a porn film that the son's just been watching. In fact, I think they all watch the film. A bit strange. Um, so they take her back to their castle type house and all get involved with her, basically. Um, sorry, Ed, they all fell down. I'll move those in a second anyway. But yeah, it's one of the better ones. It's okay, you know, it's, it's for what it does. And that's an arrow release with various extras as well. Okay, that's it for this part. Let's sort these out. Um, past parts on my playlist. Keep an eye on my playlist for future parts. Thank you for watching. Like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>